Yo, welcome back to the channel everyone. Hope you guys are all doing well. It's Oscar and we're back again with another little installation of the chip list. The chip list, if you don't know, is kind of a weekly or bi-weekly uh, kind of eBay check to see what's sold, keep up with the market type series that I like to do um, to kind of inform people about what's going on in the market, what new finds have been found, and so on. So this is, I believe, number three, uh, three or four. So uh, let's get right into it. Um, first off, today we're going to be talking about this Railroad Pass $25 um, on the square rectangle mold, I believe this is. Um, not really a chip that's seen often. The other Railroad Pass chips, um, the ones with the inlays, like kind of like this 25, although that 25 isn't seen often either, either or this Paulson inlay here. Those are the ones that are usually seen. These uh, square rectangle mold ones aren't really seen that much. They're hot stamp chips. Um, I believe there was a 5, 25, and 100. The 100 isn't seen often either, pretty rare. Um, I believe actually a couple months ago there were a few sold back to back to back, which isn't the best thing to do, but um, 290 for this. I don't know what the book value on this is, but 290 does seem like a decent price um, considering you don't see them often, which is pretty cool. Next one is a mint. Uh, this is the red or salmon colored uh, NCV good for one dollar in trade chip uh, TRK small crown It's kind of in rough shape, but I bet you if you took a magic eraser to each side it clean up pretty well um, As far as the edges they look pretty beat up, but I think it's just it's got a little bit of tape on it um like I said, Magic Eraser would probably clean it up pretty well. For some reason, I want to say these chips used to sell for like 100 or 120 bucks, somewhere around the $80 range. They've been going for cheap recently. So if you have ever wanted one or you want one, um, actually, this Salmon one wouldn't be that bad to pick up. Um, the yellow one is actually way more expensive. Um, the yellow one is pretty, pretty uh, seldom seen, which is pretty cool. Uh, but if you if you want something cool from the mint that's older TRK small crown um, I know it's an NCV chip. It's good for one dollar and trade. It's not an actual one dollar chip um, But it's still a pretty good. Uh, it's starting to become a cheap alternative uh, For a let's say a one dollar chip from the mint an older one if you'd like it and uh, I don't know it's it's to me the hot stamp It's nice looking especially the mint part um yeah, I, I, I just think it's a nice, nice uh, chip. Next two are going to be uh, chips from Mickey's, which was a casino in Vegas. From my understanding, it was a pretty small place. Um, there aren't many chips from here. This is a 10 center. The next one's a 50 center. Um, and I believe there was a one and a five. I'm not sure if there were other denominations. Um, I think chip guide chip guide should have all of them. So if you want to learn more about the the Mickey's casino chip guide probably has all the chips um, As far as information about Mickey's I don't know much but um, 221 bucks space 222 dollars for this 10 center that looks like it's in pretty decent shape uh, I recently saw a five. I think it was a five or a one that was pretty beat up But this 10 centers in it looks like it's in really nice shape. It looks like it has Really, really, I don't want to say sharp edges, but nice condition on this hard to find dime. It looks like it has sharp edges. Same thing on this 50 center, 224, 225, 225 bucks. Hot stamps all there. The, the mold is all there. The edges look like they're sharp, at least from the image. Um, I don't know. It's a, it's a interesting to see the 10 and the 50 center pop up together, especially in New York out of all places, but who knows? Maybe the person who was selling it was a collector, but um, yeah, like I said, really, really cool to see these two chips. Really, I don't know, it's probably another seldom seen chip, um, but awesome to see 225 bucks and $222 for that one. Next one is a Luigi's Bar Broiler. This is on the, was this the hub mold? I think it's a hub mold. Uh, oh no, rectangle mold, sorry. This is another chip you don't see often. You see the other Christian Jones Luigi's broiler chips, but this one I don't I don't think I've seen often that much. It's kind of a boring chip in a sense as to the way it looks, um, especially this one. It's a little bit 
it's not in rough condition, but it's definitely a little bit dirty. So if it was cleaned up, probably look a little bit nicer. But I know there's people out there that like their chips to be dirty and, and look like they were used. Um, that's not the case for me. But this is a, uh, I don't know, it's it's an, it's an other, like I said, it's a seldom seen chip. It's kind of boring. It doesn't really get uh, too much, uh, how do you say, attractive points or whatever I want to say. But uh, 73 bucks for a chip that isn't seen too often. Um, not too shabby. California Ferro Club. I think all of this, 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 and the next two or three are from the same uh, same account. So they definitely had some cool stuff up for auction recently. This is a California Ferro Club chip, yellow. I've never seen this chip before. I don't know much um, about these older California Club chips, but I definitely know that Faro was a game that was played in casinos back in the day. I've seen it on uh, this California chip, this California Club chip. I've seen it on um, Aladdin Faro chips. I'm trying to think of some other ones, but I can't think right now. Um, the oh, the only other one that comes to mind is the Aladdin Faro chips. Those are all on Paulson chips, if I remember correctly. This is from like the 70s or 80s, but this is on a from my understanding, probably a Paulson Diamond chip or a Jack Todd & Co. Diamond chip. So, um, like I said, it's a chip I've never seen before. 105 bucks doesn't seem bad. Um, don't know book value. Don't know what the recent value, recent sold or last sold value is. So, kind of just going on a on a on a guessing game here. Next one is a Chicks Club 50 Center. This is another chip. People don't know about the Chicks Club. Um, if you know about the Chicks Club, you know it was a small, small, small place here in Vegas. Um, 50 Center, I believe there's a 1, 5, 25 Center. There's a couple fracks and then maybe a 1 and a 5, but that's it. There wasn't, weren't many chips made. Definitely a small place. Um, it's kind of those things, kind of if you know, you know. Um, but seldom seen chips. 109 bucks for this one. Not too shabby. Um, another thing on these chips, it's going to be really hard if you're, let's say if you want to find a Chicks Club chip, it's going to be really, really hard to find one in really nice shape. Um, the few that I've seen, they've been in a pretty worn condition. Even this one has full, full hot stamp. Uh, I think the one or two that I saw had maybe half the stamp missing or either that it was just too dirty. You can't see it. So pretty cool to see this nonetheless. Uh, this chip I've never seen before, never heard of. Pioneer Club, um, Vegas, I almost want to say it looks like Civilian, but um, on the other side it says Free Play, $1 Craps 21, so it's kind of like a Circus Circus Free Play chip. It says it's a really rare $1 Pioneer chip. Um, Vegas Guest Plan. Vegas guest plan or something like that. I don't know. It's a chip I've never seen before. Um, definitely something on my radar. If well, it's not something I would want to buy, but something new. Um, like I said, I've never seen it before. But 177 bucks for this used one. Um, there probably aren't that many examples of one of these out there, um, considering that I've never seen one. But kind of cool. Kind of wanted to show it off. Um, Cactus Pete's Plain Mold Roulette. I'm not sure what the value on these is, but I thought it would be cool to show it. Cactus Pete's has some of the coolest artwork um, from back in the day. And uh, 257 bucks for this one. Definitely had some action because there were 27 bids. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Plain Mold. I know there's Christian Jones. Is there Christian Jones Mold? And then there was, uh, no, I think it was Christian Jones, the other chips, at least the five and the ones. I know those were on CJ's, so pretty cool. Sands, $20 Bakra. This is another chip you don't see often. Um, now, the other thing is, I don't remember if it was this one. I think it was this one that was actually in the, in the digs, or maybe it was another chip, but I'll have to pull it up. Maybe it was this one, but I think I have... No, maybe it was the other one. I don't know. Seldom seen chip again. $20 Bakra chip. 
uh i can't tell from the picture was this a 43 mil or the 43 mil or the 43 or 39 mil chip for some reason i want to say there's a 43 it doesn't look like a 43 mil chip from the picture but it's a bakra chip you kind of take into consideration it's a bakra chip it probably is 43 mil but uh, 182.50 for this pretty good price pretty good price these next two listings kind of caught me off surprise um the this is a Monterey Club 10 cent TRK. It sold for $39.99, 40 bucks. And this one, Monterey Club 40 bucks, sold for this one. Um, they were sold like right back to back to each other, so it's pretty interesting to see that. But I did not expect this Monterey Club chip to be worth 40 bucks. I know it's really at least the colors, the the obviously the white base and then the four red edge spots that match with the inlay, it's really cool. But I did not expect this thing to be worth 40 bucks. I'd say probably 20, 25 max, but 40 bucks. I was like verbally looking for these chips and I was like, what, 40 bucks? I was like, how? But uh, I, I guess it's cool. Next one is a El Cortez. In the title, it says it's a prototype chip, manufacturer's prototype. The interesting thing about this is it's on the, I guess, the home. Uh, Paulson Home uh, line colors like the Casino de Isthmus 100 and other home line chips or the fantasy chips but it has the El Cortez uh, how do I say it? The, the El Cortez basically the metal inlay that they did on some of the chips so maybe it was a prototype chip that they were just using they had a bunch of spare blanks or they were in the middle of doing runs on chips and they just happened to test and see what the the metal inlay would look on that chip but it's definitely cool um it's it's another one of those chips you you don't really see often and if you do see it it's probably one of a handful um but definitely cool it's it's also a chip that probably only a certain person would buy but 250 bucks i think it's a great price for that chip considering you don't see it you most people probably don't know what it is um it's a prototype chip and uh, it's probably one of a few handful that are out there, so really nice. This blew me away. I have 40 bucks for this chip. Um, I think I know on a website where you could probably get one of these for eight bucks. Obviously, I don't know if the condition's gonna be exactly the same as this. Condition on this one looks pretty nice, um, but 40 bucks. Uh, it's in slightly used condition. Looks like. It's in good shape though. Full hot stamp on both sides. Um, if I want to say, I think I have one of these. I think I paid like eight bucks for it. I don't, and it's in decent shape. It's obviously not mint condition, but um, 40 bucks kind of blew me away. This definitely flew, blew me away. Um, Fitzgerald's Nevada Club. Um, this is a set of four. The $1 coin inlay, 5, 25, and 100 TRKs. I have no idea exactly what this is. I know it says Fitzgerald's Nevada Club Reno Horde. Fitzgerald's or Lincoln Fitzgerald owned the Fitzgerald's in Reno. He also owned the Nevada Club. He owned the Nevada Lodge. He kind of had a monopoly in, in Reno at the time. If you watch my Fitzgerald's Reno video or my Nevada Club Casino History video, you guys can hear me talk about Lincoln Fitzgerald's. But at the time in like the 60s and, and, and 70s, he was the man in Reno alongside um, Pick Hobson and everyone else. But um, I have no idea what the, the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation is or what this, you know, this capsule. It's basically a giant airtight with a barcode seal on it. Um, I don't know if that makes it more valuable to make it be 175 bucks, but I know this chip's like three bucks. This chip right here is like eight bucks. Obviously, these all look like they're in really, really nice shape. Um, the five definitely looks like the nicest Fitzgerald's five I've ever seen because it still has the cross hatching. Um, same thing on the twenty five hundred and the one. Um, but like I said, I, I don't know if having this barcode or the the Fitzgerald's collection or the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation thing on there makes it more valuable, but. 175 bucks definitely blew me away on that one and last but not least this is kind of a little history thing or like a like a chip lesson i want to do real quick um i've seen this chip multiple times before and i think 
back when I first got into chip collecting, somebody had asked me about what this chip is. Um, it's a fantasy chip, basically on a Paulson home line. Basically, this is like a Casino de Isthmus 5. Um, the same base color, same edge spots, same everything. But um, from my understanding, it's just a paper inlay put over the middle. I don't think it's actually placed onto the chip. I might be wrong. I think I've seen a few of these in person, and it's just a paper inlay in the middle on a Paulson home line, like Casino de Isthmus 5. Um, like I said, I don't remember what the if there was an inlay underneath. There probably was, or maybe the inlay got taken off and got replaced by this paper one, but definitely not a real Desert Inn 5. Um, it kind of looks like it. Obviously, it doesn't have like a commemorative year opening and, and closing date, but it's not a real chip. Um, and I kind of feel bad for the person who paid 50 bucks for it, but that's what I wanted to say. Um, I think I even know the person who sold that chip, so kudos to you who actually sold it. So that is going to be the uh, chip list number three episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, hopefully, you guys kind of got a little bit of insight as to the market. Um, this past week or past two weeks if you guys learned anything or enjoyed the video throughout the uh, the any time Please drop a like if you have any comments put those down below If there's something I said or something that I missed can you put that in the comments as well? fix my errors or or Inform other people and uh, if you're new here, please consider subscribing um, Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and I'm